What's up guys, Tony here with High Tech Check and today we're going to be taking a look at a product that I think everybody that owns uh, Amazon Fire Stick, a Fire TV, Apple TV or a Google Nexus player is going to want to hear about. Now the one problem that I have, I've got a F Amazon uh, Fire Stick and the remote is really cool. Uh, I have a option on my TV that allows the product to kind of take control of the TV. It's a CEC, Consumer Electronics Control, and it does it all through the HDMI. So I can turn on my TV and it will turn on to the channel of the Fire Stick all through the Amazon Fire Stick and then use the remote control to obviously control the Fire Stick. But when you turn off the Fire Stick, it doesn't turn off your TV and you can't control the volume, mute, or anything else. That's where the side click comes in. It gives you, this is basically what it looks like. It's a, a little piece that clips onto your Amazon Fire Stick remote control or other remotes. It's very easily programmed. So if you have the other remote control, you just put them face to face, push the button you want, and push the button according to whatever you want on the side click which is amazing because now you can get rid of um, your TV control and not get rid of it, but you don't, <laughs> you'll always have con full control over your TV when you're using your Fire Stick. You got your power button, your volume buttons, and anything else you want to make these other buttons. It doesn't have to be specifically, you know, what it has on here. It's just anything that you want, which is really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, unbox this so you can see what's inside and then I'll set it up to let you see what it looks like. Got your little manual, you don't really need that. Comes with battery. Batteries. Two triple A's. They're starter batteries. They usually don't ever last that long. And there's the little piece that clips on your Amazon Fire Stick. And here is another piece that hooks onto another Fire Stick. <laughs> you just need to pick whichever one works with your current version. And there is a how to set it up. I'm not gonna check that out right now. I'll show you that in a minute. Pop that in, take this, okay so <laughs> it's a little easier to do without the remote inside. So there got it all clipped on and then it shows you just put this underneath there and click it into place. And then you can still slide this up and down and however you want it. It's not too bad to hold in the hand. This does get in the way. Uh, it's not at, you know nearly as comfortable to touch the buttons on the remote. But you have that extra, func extra functionality. So. Yeah. It's not too bad. You can get used to it. It's better, it's better if you hold it in your right hand because then you have access to this and you can still reach these buttons on the side here. All right, so let's go ahead and re reprogram it and then I'm going to show you what it, how it works on the TV. Okay, so to start the programming process, you're going to hold down the power button and the B button until you see a solid LED, which is there. And then you're gonna push the corresponding button that you want to program. So I'm gonna do the power button. So I'm gonna push that once, it's blinking. Take your remote control, aim it, and then push the power button on your TV remote. There you go. So that's done. So now you wanna program the next one, which is the volume up. Volume up. Done. Volume down, channel up, channel up, 
channel down, channel down, source, source, A and B, we'll make A mute. Alright, anything else? I think we're good, okay. Stop programming, push in these buttons again, and it turns off. All right, so we're all programmed up. I'm gonna go ahead and take you out to the TV and show you how it works. Okay guys, so here is the Fire Stick remote and the side clip. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the TV. You can just hit any button on the remote because of that consumer electronics control. It will turn on the TV. And it's already on the channel for the fire stick, but it will change to the channel for that too. So there's the fire stick. Now on the on the side click, here is the volume for the TV. I'm hitting the plus for the volume. Get the channel button up. I hit the channel button. <laughs> Go back to, I made this the source. So we're back on the fire stick. And then mute. So you can, like I said, you can change these buttons to anything you want. You can program them to anything, which is pretty cool. So then when you want to put your fire stick to sleep. So it puts the fire stick to sleep, but as you can see, the TV's still on. So then we're just going to turn the TV off. There you go. So one thing that I did notice last night as I was watching uh, TV in bed, I noticed that this is very slippery. <laughs> There's nothing to hold on to when you're holding it in your left hand and because it has this added attachment it makes it more bulky and people with smaller hands are really uh, going to have a hard time holding on to this. But when you hold it in your left, your right hand, I slide this all the way up to the top of the remote and you can use your pinky to kind of hold on to it. So it's not going to go anywhere. You can move your thumb around anywhere you want. But when you hold it in your left hand, there's nothing really to hold on to and it kind of just slides all around and you'll definitely notice that when you're you're like I said you're laying in bed if you're standing upright and it's level, of course you can move your thumb around and it doesn't slide anywhere, but when you're laying in bed it's kind of held on an angle and it's kind of slippery, but that's the only thing that I found that I didn't like about this. So there it is guys, the side click. This is a very cool uh, addition to your remote, um, your Fire Stick, your Fire TV, Apple TV, Roku, they have all these attachments for these devices. So if you're tired of picking up the Fire Stick remote and your TV remote, I definitely recommend you picking this up. I bought it off Amazon for 30 bucks. I think it's definitely worth it. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll put a link in the description below. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell to let you know when I put out new videos. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.